All right, here. Here's our first problem. 2x minus y plus 2z equals 15. Negative x plus y plus z equals 3. 3x minus y plus 2z equals 18. So what we want to find is x, y, and z. I will tell you that if you look it up online, there are a bunch of different ways to do this. Um, I'm going to show you the way that the book shows how to do it, so that if you want another example tonight, um, you should be able to have one there, okay? I will make sure that this video is on the website because I'm sure somebody will look it up, okay? So this one you'll probably have to download though. Anyway, moving on. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to get this one out of the way. I'm going to move it over here, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to recopy the second one on top of it. Because we have a very weird first step, we are going to use elimination to remove x from both problems. So we're going to use equations 1 and 2 and equations 2 and 3 to do that. Does that make sense? A little. Everybody get what I'm saying by that? That I'm using equations 1 and 2 and then 2 and 3? So, here's how it's going to work. I'm going to get rid of x, so I'm going to multiply this one by 1. I'm going to multiply this one by 2. That comes from the number in front of x. So that changes these two, at least it changes the bottom one. This one stays as 2x minus y plus 2z equals 15. The bottom one changes to negative 2x plus 2y plus 2z equals 6. From there, I add these two together, so those cancel. This makes 1y plus 4z equals 21. I will tell you that if you go to pre -cal, you'll you'll find the other ways to do this, which I'm sure makes you all want to take pre -cal. I think I just eliminated most people. All right. Here, I'm going to multiply this one by 3 on top, by 1 on the bottom. I'm going to get this out of my way a little bit. That leaves me with negative 3x plus 3y plus 3z equals 9 on top. The bottom is unchanged. So I get 3x minus y plus 2z equals 18. And again, I'm going to add these two together. Why? Because that w that's what cancels out my x's. So this is 3 plus negative 1y, which is 2y. Uh, this is 5z, and this equals 27. So you can see that I have two equations now 
that are both green. Does everybody see both of those green equations? Step number two. I'm going to use the green equations. That is two. E, that's three e. Use green equations to find y and z. Okay. So now I have something more manageable, like what I'm used to looking at. I have one y plus 4z equals 21, and I have 2y plus 5z equals 27. How can I get y and z here? By elimination again, right? So here I'm going to multiply this one by 2 and this one by 1 because it's easier to do that than to do the top by 5 and the bottom by 4, right? So that leaves me with 2y plus 4z equals 21. And I'm going to have 2y plus, oops, sorry, yeah, I did mess that up. 2y plus 8z equals 42. And then on the bottom, I'm going to have exactly what I did have. So here we're going to subtract 2y from both sides. That gives you, or you're going to subtract, and you get. 3z equals 15. You divide by 3, and out of all that mess, you get that z equals 5. So, after that is our third step. We again use the green equation. to solve for, in this case, we're going to solve for y. So I'm going to use the first one because that's the easiest one. 1y plus 4z equals 21. So that means 1y plus 4 times 5 equals 21. So it means 1y plus 20 equals 21. So while being a little redundant, 1y equals 1, so y equals 1. And then our last step is to find x with an original equation. So, the easiest original equation to use is this one, negative x plus y plus z equals 3. Z is 5, y is 1. We have negative x, all that equals 3. So that means negative x plus 6 equals 3, which means that negative x equals negative 3. So x equals positive 3. So my answer is 3, 1, 5. Why did I put it in that order? Because X, Y, Z are alphabetical order. All right, it's your turn. Four x plus y plus five z equals negative nine. 
x minus 4y minus 2z equals negative 2, 2x plus 3y minus 2z equals 21. Good luck. You're going to need it. This can be very, very, very frustrating. So if you are that at that point right now, don't be surprised. This is always frustrating for everyone who learns how to do it. All right, so let's look at this. This one, I need to multiply the bottom one by 4. That gives me this is 4. This is negative 16. This is negative 8. This is negative 8. I'm just going to do it like this to make it a little bit easier on myself. So when I subtract, 1 minus negative 16 is 17y. 5 minus negative 8 is 13z. 9 minus negative 8 isn't negative 17, it's negative 1. So that is very, very tricky. It's pretty much every mistake that you all make all wrapped into one problem. Here, I multiply this by 2 everywhere. So it makes this negative 8. This is negative 4. This is negative 4. This is a little bit faster than rewriting the whole thing, right? So if you want to do that, that is perfectly okay. When you subtract, those cancel. Negative 8 minus 3 is negative 11y. Negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6z. Oops, no, it's not. It's negative 2. I almost messed up 2, see? Negative 4 minus negative 2 is negative 2. I even made a mental note not to do that. So, now, these are my two equations that I called my green equations the first time, if you remember correctly. So, what I'm going to do, I have 17y plus 13z equals negative 1. Now I have negative 11y plus 2 minus 2z equals negative 25. Now this is a little bit tricky and annoying because the numbers are so big, right? So here we multiply by 2, here we multiply by 13. Top one's 34y plus 26z equals negative 2. The bottom one, how much is that, 130? Oh, I had it backwards. I was going to say 134. Negative 134y minus 26z equals negative 325. Negative, because it was negative. Did I do something wrong? Uh, you don't have to. Uh -uh. It's actually better not to because then you get to add. Okay, no, I didn't do anything wrong. Negative 327 here. These cancel. This gives you, um, and at 109, yeah. negative 109y. That's not right. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong number. Negative 109, divide by negative 109 on both sides, and y equals positive 3. Sorry, I was thinking it was supposed to be negative, but y isn't supposed to be negative. Z is supposed to be negative. That's why I thought I was doing something wrong. All right, so moving on. 17y plus 13z equals negative 1. So, 17 times 3 plus 13z equals negative 1. So, this is 51 
plus 13z equals negative 1. Subtract 51 from both sides. That gives me 13z equals negative 52. Divide by 13 on both sides and get that z equals negative 4. Lastly, I start with one of the equations I started with. I'm just going to start with the very first one. 4x plus y plus 5z equals negative 9. So that gives me 4x plus 3 plus 5 times negative 4 equals negative 9, which means that I have 4x plus negative 17 equals negative 9. That means 4x equals positive 8. I divide by 4 and I have done. X equals 2. 2, 3, 4 is my answer. So, these do take a long time. I know. I... Alright, so, I will hopefully find one that's really obvious like this, that you did it right. I'm going to try to find something that's real nice like this for the test. You know, so you can see that it lines up really nice so that you know you did it right. There are some that are really easy, though. You will have one of these on your homework. So our third problem is this. Yes. 4x minus 6y equals 10. 5y minus 6z equals 8. And 10x equals 20. So why is this one really easy? Because you can find x really quickly, right? So here x equals how much? So x quickly equals 2 because of this equation right here. So from there, it's, it's real fast. 4x minus 6y equals 10. So that means 8 minus 6y equals 10. So you subtract 8 from both sides. And negative 6y equals 2. Four times 2. So, y, after you divide by negative 6 here, is negative 1 third. So then after you know that, you know 5 times negative 1 third minus 6 times z equals 8. So that means negative 5 thirds minus 6z equals 8. So you add 5 thirds to both sides, you get negative 6z equals um, 29 thirds. You divide by negative 6 and you're done. So that's really easy to do in your calculator. 29 over 3. divided by negative 6. That gives you this. You just hit math and then fraction. That's negative 29 over 18. So even though... So x equals 2, y equals 1 third, z equals negative 29 over 18. On your homework though, there won't be any fractions. You should get all whole numbers. Okay? So that is one way that you know if you're doing it right. The other way is checking the back of the book. So, unless there's any questions, we're done.